Hello, my name is Brian Walsh, and I'm standing in front of a 1971 Ford Pino that my father raced back in 71. Uh, what makes the Pino, this Pino special to me is my mother and father bought it brand new in 1971, turned it into a race car. My dad had some good success with it in the early days in IMSA, 71 to 74. Then a friend of his bought it, raced it some more in IMSA. Then I got it in 1990 and continued racing it. So it's got a lot of heritage and it's been in the family, basically the family the whole time since it's brand new. The, this car has evolved. When he, when he first bought it, the rules were very limited. You could, yet you're limited by what kind of carb you had to run, size carburetor, stock carburetor, and you could do, you had to run a spec tire. And over the years, the rules have laxed. Now you're running in vintage, you can almost do anything you want other than putting like a V8 into it. But basically the same suspension, and um, the tires are a lot better than 1970s technology. That's probably the biggest thing, is the tires. I am still racing it. Um, matter of fact, we'll be here at Daytona doing some exhibition laps. But I raced it this past uh, May at Summit Point in West Virginia. And next year, hopefully race, or this year, race it once or twice. To drive this car, it's like driving a big oversized go-kart. You really toss this particular car around, steer with the throttle, and the brakes are so-so, but that doesn't really matter. You just, you really gotta drive it hard. If you drive it nice and smoothly, you're not going to go fast. But it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. Pino, this Pino came with a four-cylinder two-liter engine with a four-speed. And right now I'm running a 2300 that's been massaged. The unique features of the Pinto. Um, one Ford made almost over three million of them from 71 to 1980. The suspension is the basis for most of the uh, kit car hot rods. They call it the Mustang II suspension, but it's really the Pino suspension. Um, it's a unique looking small sedan that was very popular back in the 70s. And they made a really good race car. Still do. If you wanted to get into vintage racing, a Pino would be a good car to start with. Um, although now they're letting Miatas in which Miata is probably the best race car to try and have because you don't have to do anything to it. But a Pino, uh, with a little bit of time getting to know the car, very, very reliable, very easy to drive, and a lot of fun. So it would be a good car to vintage race. If you want to see more about this car, I have a YouTube channel. You can come to almost any vintage race on the East Coast. Um, I've got a Facebook page, Instagram, Basically, you just type in Racer Walsh or Brian Walsh or Purple Pino and find me. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And to see more stories like this, visit us online at ClassicMotorsports.com.